your baby, you have to look at its tone. And this baby was very floppy, very sleepy, and, and had a few sort of slightly odd features. So we're just gonna check back in with that baby because um, it is gonna need a referral to a pediatrician. Bueno, ¿y toma pecho? Sí, pero no toma así cada rato. Mm -hmm. Piensa que es menos que sus otros hijos cuando mm -hmm. ellos tomaron pecho? Sí. The reason we chose this machine is because it actually has a neonatal probe. And it's great because once we put the neonatal probe on, the machine knows that we're going to be scanning a baby. And then we can actually select um, what scan we want to do on the baby. So we can do a nerve scan, abdomen, vascular, or a general neonatal scan. So we're going to look at the liver and choose the abdomen right now. So these follow-up clinics are, are a great opportunity to do a bit of teaching with the students as well because I guess we do have a bit more time and we can go a bit more into the pathology and, and what you should be looking for when you examine or, or when you're using the ultrasound machine. Right. Yeah. It's almost like the heart's right up against the liver over here. Yeah. So you're getting it just... Yeah, right at the top there. His liver did look nice and uniform, spleen didn't look abnormal. Um, both his kidneys were about four centimeters, which in this age group is um, about right. It, in many ways, it reassured us um, that there wasn't anything wildly abnormal going on, but we still do need to follow up on his nutrition and the fact that he's still losing weight and hasn't even regained his birth weight yet, despite being three weeks old now. Pero, por lo menos, está más fuerte que la 